In today's video, we're going to be talking about the spot price of silver dropping under $28, this new coin shop that I found, along with China banning digital currencies. And I'm also going to be going live in the VIP club tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link in the description if you want to join. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver falling down to the $27 an ounce range, along with a new coin shop that I recently discovered. But I also had to talk about China just banning crypto. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Wednesday, May 19th, 2021. It is currently 88 degrees outside, really hot, really sunny really perfect i'm going to be honest with you so i figured why be inside when you can be outside filming another video out here the current spot price of silver as i'm recording the video is 27 dollars 93 cents which means it's down 22 cents and the spot price of gold is 1880 dollars 70 which means it's up $11.60. The gold to silver ratio is currently 66 to 67 to 1 at the moment as I'm recording the video. Of course, that's only as I'm recording the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know what the current spot price or the gold to silver ratio is for you as you're viewing the video. I'm always curious. So today I did want to talk quite a bit about silver because there's a few things that I wanted to say. But before we can even get into that, I wanted to talk a little bit about some digital currency news. Now, this is something that I've really only talked about on my channel maybe two or three times. I'm personally not really a crypto guy. I'm not that big of a fan of it. I'm also not a crypto hater. I respect it as a form of diversification. I've just spent the last couple of years researching it, and it's just not really for me. Personal preference, no big deal. But I think it's important to pay attention to all of the realms of finance. I think it's important to pay attention to everything going on when it comes to money. doesn't matter if it's the precious metals, doesn't matter if it's the stock market, real estate, or different types of currencies, whatever the case may be, I think it's important to pay attention and keep your head on a swivel, which is what I try to do. This morning when I woke up, I had noticed that the stock market seemed to be tanking and I also came across an article talking about how China just banned cryptocurrency. So I read through the article, also read through a couple of other articles, I did a little bit of research on my own, and what I had discovered was that China is essentially now banning and preventing banks and payment platforms from providing any services related to these digital currencies and I wanted to talk about it because I thought it was pretty important and it's also important to remember that China's government is insane so insane that I'm actually surprised that they didn't ban it sooner China's leadership is off the wall to say the least not to say that the leadership here in the US is all that great either which brings me to my next point which is that I can't help but wonder if they would try to ban it here. I don't know if I could necessarily see it happening. I guess I could see it happening. I just don't necessarily think that it's going to happen. I just wanted to put this out there to maybe spark a little bit of a conversation because China is not the only country to ban the digital currencies. And upon the news of China banning the digital currencies, we have seen a massive, massive, massive drop and anything that can go up or down tens of thousands of dollars in that short of a period of time I consider to be a little bit risky to say the least now like I said before it's all personal preference I'm not for it or against it I really don't care I'm a big believer in everyone doing whatever it is in the world that they want to do so long as nobody getting hurt 
I could not possibly care less. If you want to buy into it, if you want to sell out of it, if you want to stay away from it, I do not care. I just wanted to put this out there because it does tie into financial news. Moving away from the digital stuff, let's talk about the physical stuff. Let's talk about the silver and the gold. Silver is barely down. Gold is barely up, which means the gold to silver ratio ever so slightly moved in opposite directions a little bit. Yesterday it was in the, I believe it was the 65 to 66 to 1 range, and today it's in the 66 to 67 to 1 range, something like that. So I wanted to talk about silver today because it did drop down below $28 an ounce, barely. It's only down a quarter, give or take. But I wanted to talk about this for a variety of different reasons, and I also just came across a new coin shop. A coin shop that I have heard of before, but it's a coin shop that I have never gone to, never visited, never done business with, never picked up any coins from. I stopped by the other day because I happened to be out of town for work, and the building that I needed to go to had a coin shop just a couple doors down. Now, unfortunately, they were closed the time that I got there. They opened up, I think, two hours later, but unfortunately I was busy with work and I couldn't make it there. But I'm going to be making it a priority to stop by that specific coin shop. I know a couple people who have gotten silver coins from there. I know a couple people who have even gotten some gold there. I know a couple people that have grandfathers who visit that coin shop because they're like diehard coin collectors. This is apparently a very, very, very strong and reputable coin shop. So I would love to stop by, swing by, support their business, and support my finances, my financial future, by acquiring me a little bit of wealth in exchange for a little bit of my currency. That's the plan. And being that they're evidently a pretty popular coin shop, I'm willing to bet that they have their fair share of 90% silver, which is what I've been prioritizing for pretty much the last year, to be honest with you, especially this year. When it comes to silver, I'm pretty sure the only silver I've gotten this year, I think, has been 90%, mainly quarters, and yeah, some dimes, no half dollars, not yet. I would like to get some more half dollars. I don't have all that many of them. I have my fair share of quarters and dimes. I don't have a lot of half dollars. So maybe if I can swing by this coin shop and pick me up some, maybe some Franklin halves. I think those are my new favorite half dollars. Maybe some Kennedy halves, Walking Liberty halves. As long as they're silver, as long as they're 90%, that's all that matters to me. But if all they have quarters and or dimes, that's cool too, because guess what? Silver is silver, and I could not possibly care less what the coin is as long as the coin is made of the metal that I'm trying to get my hands on. Silver. And also gold. Haven't picked up gold in a little while either. So I will be picking up a new little gold coin pretty soon. Hopefully, that gold coin could be the Type 2 American Eagle. That'd be pretty nice. I've been wanting to get myself a half ounce type 2 gold eagle so hopefully i'll be able to do that if not i'll settle for a quarter ounce that's fine too gold is gold regardless of the denomination but when it comes to gold that's what i use to diversify a little bit when it comes to the precious metals the majority of my currency my fiat, my cash, my glorified IOU debt note dollar bills that are left over after taking care of everything that I have to take care of goes to silver. I prioritize silver over gold. I know there are a lot of people out there who prioritize going about 50-50. A lot of people out there who prioritize gold over silver. It's all personal preference, kind of like what I said before about the currencies. Personal preference. When it comes to the money, also personal preference. Now, I'm a big believer in gold. I'll continue stacking gold. But as I've been saying for the last couple of years, 
Silver, in my opinion and from my perspective, not a financial advisor, nothing on this channel is financial advice, do your own research, form your own opinions, make your own decisions based off of your conclusions, not mine, but the conclusion that I came to, based on a couple of years of being in the game and a couple of years worth of research and experience, the conclusion that I came to was that silver is the opportunity medal, at least in my opinion. I think it has far more room to grow and perform over time. I think gold is a much more stable metal. I think gold does a much better job holding its value, holding its own, standing tall during times of economic uncertainty or financial hardships. I think gold takes a much smaller hit than silver does, which is why I respect gold, by the way. It's one of my favorite things about gold, except for me right now. I'm a firm believer, I truly wholeheartedly believe that if I prioritize silver right now, my silver will be able to acquire me gold later down the road. That's just the way I'm doing things. Trade my time for dollars, my dollars for silver, and maybe one day down the road, my silver for gold. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and what are your thoughts on everything that I shared today regarding the digital currencies or when it comes to the precious metals and if anybody's interested in joining the precious metals vip club it's where i can do things on my own terms not on youtube's terms my terms i'm hosting privately held live streams they're smaller and easier to manage don't forget i am going to be going live tonight 7 p.m eastern standard time i'm posting exclusive vip only adventure vlogs i also do giveaways discounts personalized promo codes shout outs deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites and of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free come join the precious metals vip club it'll be the first link in the description you're invited i'd be happy to have you and if you guys enjoyed today's video please hit that like button if you guys like me make sure to hit that subscribe button like a karen hits a bus window also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. A bunch of brand new videos over there. One about ordering silver and gold online. One about teaching your kids about silver and gold. One about the tech stock sell-off we've been seeing. One about recovery stocks. One about the credit card crackdown. And a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit three thousand subscribers we just hit two thousand and i appreciate that and if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way please consider getting yourself some dydss merchandise of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products t-shirts hoodies even stickers many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. When it comes to everything that I shared in today's video, primarily focusing more on the precious metals rather than the digital currencies, I just kind of wanted to splice that into the video because it had to do with financial news and I think it's important to stay updated on things like this whether it be a country banning something or whether it be a country having trouble with this thing over here or whether it be anything that I've shared in these recent videos where I'm talking about potential tax increases when it comes to the stock market when it comes to real estate when it comes to digital currencies when it comes to the colonial pipeline which was shut down a week or two ago when it comes to the suez canal when it comes to whatever i think it's important to pay attention to these things because they all make sense they all intertwine with one another and a lot of the time if you're paying attention to one market you can get a little bit of an idea 
what's going to be going on in the other markets. Because oftentimes they follow the same trends, but they don't always move at the same time. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.